Hello all. In the last tutorial, we have seen the basic syntax for writing select statements in order to fetch records from a table. In select clause, we specify a list of columns that we have to fetch. Then in from clause, we specify a table from which these columns are fetched. And optionally, whenever we want to filter some records, then we specify a where clause, wherein we specify condition. So the records that satisfy those conditions, only those get selected and displayed as a record is an answer. We have seen equal to operator, greater than equal to operator, less than equal to operator, then a between operator which is used to get the numeric values in a specific range, and then an in operator which acts as a replacement for multiple OR statements. So we'll move ahead. The first question is, get the details of students who have not appeared the exam. So if we see the example over here, the role number two, that is student PQR, for whose the mark is absent, that means he has not appeared the exam. Now this empty record represents the absence of records or not applicable value, so which is represented by a null. So null itself represents the absence of record. Okay, so what you want to get is the record number two where the marks is equal to null. So I'll write select star from student where marks equal to null. Now this should return me record number two, but it will not. Let's see. Yes, we are not getting any records, but what we want, marks is null, is the record 2. Null is a special kind of keyword that is not applicable for any data type. So, null can be for numeric data type, can be for character based, can be for date based. Any column can have a null record to represent that the value is not applicable. So. In order to compare null values, instead of using equality operator, there is a is operator. So we write where marks is null. This time around, we must get the answer. Yes, so whenever you want to compare a null value, we write column name, then is null. So this, this is how it works. We'll go for next question. Get the details of student, we have appeared exam. So Apart from number role number two, all other students have appeared exams, so our query should be like that, which will give me records one, three, four, five, and six. So it is fairly simple. Just opposite of is null, what we write is is not null. So it will give me all the records where marks the value is present and it is not equal to null. So it should return me from 45, 0, then 33, 28, and 35. Let's see. Yes, we get that. So, for null we write where, then column name, then either is null or we write it as is not null. Okay, we we'll go for the next question. Get the details of students whose name starts with A. So if we analyze this question properly, then I want a list of details of all the students for whom the name are going to start with A. So previously, whatever we have seen conditions, that is where name is equal to ABC or name is equals to ABC and XYZ, there we have given with the entire value where the name has to be ABC. But in this case, the name has to just start with ABC, A. So my query should be such that it should return me ABC and ABA or if at all they are present any other record that starts with A, then that record should be also displayed. So in this case, what we want to match is we want to match with an expression. We have to provide some expression. Whichever value matches that expression will be displayed. So in order to get expression or uh, right condition for expression we, uh, expression we use a like clause so like as a keyword so where s name like 
some expression so the query will be something like this select star from student where as name as a column name like and then within a single quote I cannot specify a because when I specify a I want to say the name is equal to a we want to specify some expression that contains a so for generating this expression with like operator that is this like keyword we have some wild cards and those are these two number one is underscore that is used to match exactly one character and we have a percentage which matches zero or more characters so whenever I specify underscore then it will represent one character so that character can be anything but it has to take only one and when we specify percentage it can be any number of characters so where s name like a percentage so this means that the first letter has to be a then after a there can be any number of characters it can be even zero as well so even if I have a record with s name as only a that record will be also getting displayed so let's check this yes we get two records that is ABC and ABA it's correct so we'll go for next question get the details of students whose name starts and ends with A so I want a name which will start with A and end with A but in between there can be any number of characters so possible matches for this pattern could be AA because it starts with A and ends with A even I can have ABA ABCA means any any value which has to start with A and end with A and within those both A's there can be any number of characters so here our expected answer is only ABA so answer would be A percentage A, A then any number of characters and then again A so which will start with A and end with A we'll see it should give me only one record back as a result that is record number fifth we'll see it yes we get that we'll go for next question we have to get the details of students whose name contains A now as the question suggests A can be anywhere it can be either at the start of the column means at the value it can be at the end or it can be even in between the condition is that it the name has to just contain A no matter what position so again select and from will remain same select star from student where the condition will be any number of characters before a then a and after that a any number of characters so even if a is at the beginning this first percent will represent zero number of characters and then second percentage will represent the num any number of characters af after that a so name contains a will give me the results for abc and for again ABA you can try inserting any other records that contains A in between that should be also returned so check this yes we get the correct answer next question we'll see okay mm, get the details of students whose name contains underscore okay now as we have seen in a like operator okay before going to this question we'll take one more question uh, get the details of students whose name contains B at a second character so my result should be ABC and ABA because both of these contains B at a second position so the query would be the score okay now what I want is B as a second character so that means for B to be the first second character there has to be any character which is first so for representing only one character 
we take underscore then underscore b percent so this expression means that first character can be anything b will be always the second character and after b any number of characters can be followed so any name that contains b at the second position no matter what the length of that name is now here we have as an example all names are of three characters only but this will work for any values so where s name like underscore b percentage yes we get it okay so now we'll moving on to this question that is get the details of student whose name contains underscore to go ahead with this question we will first make an entry that is record insert some value in where name will contain underscore so let's say insert into student values uh we'll have 7 then s name let's say r a underscore t s any random name then age as let's say 14 marks as 43 and then division as a so let's just insert this one row inserted so when i just select star from student that is i i do not specify any where clause i need to get all the records yes i got get the seven rec seventh record as well where the s name is r a underscore t s now if you come back to this question i want to get the details of students whose name contains underscore so essentially i want to get the record that is the seventh record but normally underscore is used as an while character that is underscore and as well as percentage so this time i round i want to use underscore as a normal value just like as in the contains uh, name contains a name contains b i want to consider it as a normal underscore rather than being considered as wild character so for that we'll write select star from student where s name like now it has to contain underscore that means percentage then underscore then percentage okay means before underscore any number of characters after underscore any number of characters but as you might have guessed this query is not right because here this underscore is going to be treated as an wild character so what i am essentially trying to say that there has to be at least one character before which any number of characters can be there after which any number of characters can be there so this query will return me all the records yes again we get the same records i want underscore to be treated differently so i will write let's say dollar and then after that i'll write escape within single quote dollar so with like operator if we use escape so we have written escape then dollar so anything after dollar the character will be treated as a normal value so here underscore will now be treated as a normal value so i i must get as the seventh record as an answer yes i get it now there is no compulsion that we have to use on dollar only so if i the major practice is we use a backslash so when i use backslash then i'll have to write escape backslash so any character that we use take here that will be used in like operator so after that character whichever wild char character comes that will be treated as a normal yes we again get the same record okay we'll go to the next question okay which are different divisions uh, before going for this question let us select the divisions so select the column name is div division from student okay now since there are seven records in a table the seventh one we have just entered we get all the divisions for first record division is a then b then a then a then again b b and a now what my question suggest is i do not want how many divisions are there and whatever way now i want the different divisions so although we have seven records but the divisions there are only two that is a and b so if we want a distinct values of any column then we write a keyword distinct so select distinct div 
from student so we'll get the answer as only a and b same case with if i go with age then 11 12 13 and 14 i should get only four records because all other 12 and 11 are repeating so if i just replace a div with age i will get one value only once different values of each so 13 then 11 14 and 12 okay i'll go for next question arrange details of students in increasing order of their age so when i just get the information about students that is select star from student i will get all those seven records okay but now what i want to do is i want to get the same result but i want to arrange them in the increasing order of their age so the lowest age will be first so that is we'll have 11 11 then 12 12 so for sorting purpose what we use is order by clause and its syntax goes as syntax for this we just write order then by then column name the values of which column needs to be sorted then there is one optional parameter either we have to specify it as a ASC that is for ascending then DESC for descending if we do not specify any of this keyword then by default it takes it as ascending so if you write the query select star from student then order by I want to order by age now either I can write the keyword as ASC or DESC but since I want it in increasing order there is no need to specify because by default it is going to be the increasing order just run this query yes we get record sorted 11 11 then 12 same case even if I write ASC over here I'll get the same answer yes and in case of ASC instead of AC if I just write DESC then the records must be arranged in reverse manner so the highest age will come first and then the lowest age so we have arranged the details of students in both increasing as well as decreasing next question arrange the details of students in descending order of their name so again since it is descending order so I'll have DESC but now instead of arranging by age now I have to arrange by their name so column for name is S name so the query will be very simple straightforward select star from student order by S name then DESC yes we get XYZ then RST then RA then again so records have been arranged in descending order okay that's it for this tutorial we'll meet in the next tutorial till then Happy learning.